bad. Horror films. We all like them. We all enjoy them. We sometimes masturbate over them. But the thing that gets me about horror films is that quite a lot of them use mental health as a plot point. <laughs> the ones that lazily stigmatise and stereotype mental people, people with mental health issues, mental ill health, uh, because um, it's a kind of lazy way of, of um, explaining away weird behaviour. Like, a very good example is The Visit, is a very good example, the M. Night Shyamalan film, where, spoiler, um, the grandparents turn out to be crazy. Uh, yeah, and that's the explanation of their behaviour. And if you watch the film, a lot of it is pretty outlandish. Uh, they're dangerous, they're criminal, but they've managed to escape from their, um, I suppose, high lockdown um, asylum to uh, murder some counsellors and um, look after children for a week, which they do quite well, actually. I think that you could actually flip that I was they're actually quite nice people when they're not murdering. <laughs> There's that, and uh, that's an awful film, House at the End of the Street. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Spoiler again, the boy from Bates Motel, you know, the fit one, not the one that was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, he's been keeping his sister in the basement for years. Oh, yeah. If you look at films like Split, or even supernatural films like Ring, which I love, um, you get the typical let's go to the asylum where they're kept scenes. Out there. I don't want to be one of those dickish, um, call-out culture type people that, you know, think that because there are films with mentals in, uh, you can't ever show a representation of them. In a horror film, they always have to be, you know, meted out because, you know, a good film's a good film. I love uh, films like Halloween and Psycho, even though they're pretty uh, un uh, scientific. Do you like my brown walls? Mmm, hairy, eh? Well, please do comment on that video if you would be so kind. You can subscribe, there's a little circly thing that the arrow's pointing to, click on that. And you're subscribing to me, that's nice, isn't it? You can also go on Patreon, uh, that's where the little other arrow is pointing to now. And for as little as 85 pence a month, you can subscribe for exclusive content, me in a dress, me in blue face, and the like. And if you don't want to do any of that, why don't you just watch another one of my videos? That'd be also very, very kind. Thank you, goodbye, and love you.